And now we are already connected with one of the Indonesia's inspirational women who is listed in the Forbes 50 over 50 Asia, Noni Purnomo, Bluebird Commissioner. Good afternoon. Bunoni, you're you're with us already. Ah, there you are. Good afternoon, Bunoni. Good afternoon. Wow, Good I afternoon. mean, congratulations, you have chosen. And, um, you know, everyone is looking at you. Everyone knows what Bluebird is. And it seems like you're not taking for granted running this family business from a long time ago, starting from scratch, from technical assistant employee, I don't know, whatever it was. And then you're now the commissioner and you have taken Bluebird from just in a conventional taxi company into something that is, you know, very much technological and riding the wave of this online world. So, Bunoni, first question is, do you think why you get chosen to be Forbes 50 over 50? That's my first question. <laughs> I think, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity, first of all. Uh, I think that question needs to be asked directly to Forbes. <laughs> but honestly, there are so many successful women leaders in Indonesia that I'm sure worthy of being part of the list as well. So I'm truly honored and also at the same time humbled by the opportunity to be able to represent Indonesia uh, and the Forbes Asia list. And um, so among with also so many other uh, great women who always give me more inspiration to learn more and to give more. But I would not be able to be in this position without the support of every single person at Bluebird, oh. whether it's from the drivers, our employees, you know, our drivers who consistently have been serving our customers for more than 50 years. Yeah. And also the wives of our drivers who actively involve in Kartini Bluebird program, which is the women empowerment program within the Bluebird group. And of course, uh, the customers who always remember that we are around to give the best possible service mm. and also to share our happiness. Yeah, that's actually including us, right? Yes, that's right. And, of course. Um, yeah. We have Noni, to, we have thank to admit you. we are uh, all here uh, is your, yes. are your customers. Bluebird so. users yes. here. <laughs> okay, Bunoni. Thank uh, you so much for the trust. Yes, yeah, so Bluebird has been known as the leading uh, taxi um, company in Indonesia. So what are the challenges in building a family business, especially a transportation industry uh, it is ma uh, mainly male-dominated. Yeah, so uh, my late grandmother, Ibu Mutiara Siti Fatimah Jokostono SH, she was the one who founded the company in, uh, officially in 1972. Oh. But uh, before 1972, in 1965, we started in our garage with two vehicles uh, at that time because she was looking at the opportunity and also um, the lack of a good transportation services in Jakarta. And at that time, I think Jakarta was started to uh, get its place in the international world. So she wanted to take part in the development of Indonesia itself through a delivering of uh, a reliable transportation services. And of course, um, as a female in a male-dominated industry, we always have some challenges. But I'm pretty blessed because in my family, since very young age, we, we are treated equally. Um, being treated equally also comes with uh, equal responsibility. So it's not just equal rights, but also equal responsibilities. So we, we were asked to compete uh, equally. We were asked to um, do our best in everything that we do, but we're also been given the same opportunity. So hence, um, we've been involved since the very beginning because the company started in our garage, right? So uh, I've been um, involved with the company starting from just uh, helping the administration office to just give out and just to roll the commissions of our drivers when I was really maybe five years old. And when I graduated from university because I had an industrial engineering degree, I started working 
full time at Bluebird at the maintenance department, where mm. I got the opportunity to learn more about the maintenance part, which is, you know, I mean, um, it, which is the background of, of the reliability of our service as well, because we need to make sure that every single vehicle that comes out are always in prime uh, condition, not just driven by the best drivers, but also the vehicle itself has to be in the prime condition. So I learned a lot. Um, what is most important is that I came in not as a graduate, not as an engineer. I came in as a new person, a new employee who wanted to learn more from my senior at that time. And of course, I was the only female in the maintenance department at that time. Um, again, I, you know, so I had so many uh, experiences in that. Um, when, you know, when I did my MBA, one of the things that I learned in, in marketing is uh, product differentiation, right? Mm -hmm. So being the only female in the industry sometimes have its privileges as well, mm -hmm. you know, that you just stand up. So <laughs> then it's, it's really completely up to you how you want to do uh, with it, right? I mean, you are given the opportunity. It is really uh, completely up to you on how you want to do with it. So what I learned from my late grandmother is the first thing, if you want to be respected, you need to respect others first. Mm -hmm. And respect is earned. Uh, respect is respect is not entitlement. So that's that's the thing. So since very young age, we were uh, our basic value is um, we believe success has to be built brick by brick. So it has to be based by having a good discipline, hard work, having a high integrity, and care for others. So that's how we started, and that is the core value of Bluebird that is still being maintained until wow. now. Wow, until the third wow. generation where you are right. um, part of it, right? So that's really inspirational. Yes. Yep. Interesting, I get a lot of um, leadership value mm. just yes. from uh, uh, one conversation right now. So before we jump to the next question, maybe I'll, I'll give the next question to you. <laughs> I'll, I, w I would like to um, dig more about your uh, leadership value, uh, Bunoni. You've mentioned about the, uh, the respect is earned and also um, uh, the success uh, is built brick by brick. So it's really um, like step by step uh, journey that you have to uh, through to the, the, to the process. So tell us and share us, um, in, um, inspire us. How, how do you manage the, the journey? I mean, it will be go with up and down when you try to get that respect from uh, the colleagues and, and also the successful. Yes, of course. And as it's life, right? Life is not meant to be easy. It is really important on how uh, every time we see an issue that is faced in front of, of us, then there's two ways of looking at those issues. One is to give up. And the other one is to look at it as an opportunity to improve. Mm. So I'm again, I'm, I'm very lucky that since very young age, that's the way I was being brought up. Um, my late grandmother, again, because I learned a lot from her, um, she told me that uh, success is earned by running every time you fall down. So every time you fall down, you need to stand up and run again. It's okay if you fall again, and then you learn to stand up and run again. So that's that's a basic philosophy that um, I live by every single day. Um, I think every challenge that we face is an opportunity for one person to learn something better. Mm -hmm. And if that challenge comes back again, you know, sometimes same challenge are, are repeated, right? So I see it as oh, there must be something that I have not learned um, instead of, of, of giving up. So I, I think that's that's uh, basically how how I um, lead also, and I believe that uh, success have to be achieved together as a family. So we at Bluebird, um, our success is not just achieved by the leaders, by the CEO or by by the senior management. Every single person, including the family of our employees, mm -hmm. including our customers. They're part of our ecosystem. And that's the reason also why we, we always, every year we've been giving scholarships to the children of our drivers. Mm, wow. And also we launched the Women Empowerment Program because we strongly believe if we want to be successful sustainably, mm -hmm. if we want to be able to sustain the 
the company, we really need to take care of every single person who is part of our ecosystem. Wow. So I think that's, that's part of our, our leadership uh, style at Bluebird. Mm -hmm. And we're always welcome to have new uh, thinking and every single person are contributing to new ideas. And, and we always, we learn from our failure. I think basically yeah. that's, that's what's important. Wow, it's amazing. I mean, yeah. how many employees? Yeah. You've got 200,000 or something all across uh, your area. So it's like wow. amazing, right? Around Indonesia, I think. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we, we have, we have uh, quite a lot, uh, 200,000 that would include uh, the family of, of our drivers. Oh. So we have about uh, 40,000 uh, 40, members and then plus their family. Oh. So it would be, it, we always see them as, as a so one like big an happy family. extended Bluebird family, right? Yes. Yes, yes. So, because I, we, we believe that, you know, can you imagine if, if the drivers if they don't feel happy at home, they won't be happy when they're when they're uh, working as well. That's so true. it is very important for us to reach out beyond yeah. just you know the corporate. It's right. been you know you know during yeah. my trip from yeah. office to home, home yeah. to office using yeah. Bluebird, it's always been a delight moment sharing with the driver honestly because they've from the first time when you open the door and you make yeah, a conversation exactly yeah. <laughs> and they tell stories and it's just so inspiring how they you know sometimes i found your uh, part of your company's drivers working for 20 years 30 years and they're like amazingly dedicated to bluebird so i just want to ask uh, how difficult it was to, uh, through the pandemic and through this online taxis that are appearing how did you shift your company to as in um, riding the wave, if I may uh, borrow Achir's word, <laughs> riding the wave of this online world. Yes. And Bluebird stays there as the only taxi companies that still exist until today. And it seems like that you have expanded to some other things like movers and all that. So tell us more about that. Yeah, of course. Um, it's really challenging. Uh, Bluebird has been around for fifth, more than 50 years, so we have faced different type of challenges. Uh, but one of the most challenging one was uh, pandemic, honestly. And it was right after 2016 challenge uh, by the new transport, uh, online transportation, right? I think everyone remembered at that time um, there was quite a, a shock in the transportation industry. Uh, what happened in that time is that when we got hit by this so-called online transportation, the first thing we have to see is what is our strength and what is our weaknesses? What can we learn from this new emerging way of transportation? And how can we um, uh, transform faster and uh, try to adjust to the new technology as fast as possible and also as low cost as possible by leveraging our strength and by leveraging and understanding our weaknesses. So um, I, I think maybe you realize at that time, I think it, it was in March 2016, when there was a huge demonstration yeah. um, in Jakarta uh, that that goes against uh, the so-called online transportation at that time and I don't know if you remember the next day after that demonstration Bluebird give free rides to all of our customers just for a day mm -hmm. um, the reason why we did that Bluebird um, drivers has been known as they, they're being loved by the customers right I mean I hope you love our drivers too and we've always been known as the bird of happiness. Yep. And, and, but on that day, somehow, for whatever reason, even though we were not the, the cause of the demonstration, um, a lot of people were blaming Bluebird drivers for the demonstration. So the first thing that we needed to do is to restore the, the morale of our drivers because they, they felt really, really sad at that time. Mm -hmm that because it was not their fault basically right but then a lot of people were saying that oh it's a bluebird driver and 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 things like that so we needed to restore the the morale the spirit of yeah. our drivers wow. so therefore we gave an opportunity the next day that they can give something back mm -hmm. you know the the free rights is is very uh, costly for the company 
but it's very useful to lift up the spirit of our drivers. So that's just how we make our decisions in, in, uh, in our business. And then after that, we understood, we realized that we were very late in trying to listen and trying to adjust to the advancement of technology. And um, even though we have launched the first taxi mobile reservation in 2012, but then we were like in a comfort zone at that time. Mm. So when, when we uh, got hit by the online transportation, it was like a wake up call for us. So again, like, like my grand, uh, late grandmother used to say, you know, everything happens for a good reason mm -hmm. somehow. Mm -hmm. So because of that, we accelerating our technology um, invest, investment. And so in that year, um, at the end of 2016, we collaborate with, with Gojek and we launch um, yeah. in Gojek application, we launch the Go, Go uh, Bluebird. Go Bluebird app. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love so it. because it comes yeah, so it comes back to so what who we are. You know, oh. we are a transportation company. So what is a transportation services company? So what is most important for us is to make it easier for our customer to be able to get our services. So our customers can just hail the taxi on the street, can just go down from any mall or the, any hotels that oh. you know you can get our services. You can still call because our call center is still available. You can also uh, order through our own app and you can also order through a, a third party platform. Yeah. So we're extending that now beyond just, just uh, Gojek. We're also extending to MRT, Kereta Api Indonesia, Garuda Indonesia, you know, so we collaborate with so many BCA. Yeah. So we collaborate with so many third party just to make uh, our customer easier to get our services. Wow. But what I is see. important for us is we're maintaining the service of our drivers because that's that's the key that's it's like that is the soul of our business yeah we love that uh, you really maintain the service as well as uh, the well-being of your employees like you really care that's for them get when you have a lady boss yes that's <laughs> true and um, leader. Uh, now Bunoni, you are at the peak of your career but you're also a mother and a wife mm. how do you um, you know manage your time as uh, in family and also in your career and what are your messages for us women that are inspired by you yes so i think first of all i was i was a perfectionist for a time being and then i realized that nobody should be perfect and when when i accepted that and i was not in denial life is so much easier oh. it doesn't mean that we should not always try to be better it doesn't mean that we have to be satisfied with whatever we have at this moment and just that's it, you know, be in a comfort zone. But it also means um, we need to love ourselves first before we can love others. Yeah, mm. that's true. And I realized that as a human being, we have so many balls to juggle. We have so many roles that we need to, to play in our lives. And we cannot, even the master juggler, you know, they. They cannot um, keep all the balls up in the air uh, 24 hours, seven days a week, right? So from time to time, the ball will drop. So um, what I learned from that is that it is very important for us to know, to prioritize which one that is a priority at this moment, whether it's work or family or friends or ourselves. Okay. You know, we really need we really need to know which one is the priority at this moment. Yeah. So it is okay to, to just only juggle a few balls at a time yeah. and put several balls down just yes. for a time being, right. consciously. Mm. I think that part uh, helped me a lot. Um, quality, of course, over quantity is yes. extremely important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Reality. <laughs> and because, yeah, you know, and because we only have 24 hours a day yeah. and we need to sleep too, right? As, and we have so many things to take care of. So quality time for everything that we do is extremely important. I, I know this sounds too easy, but it is true. So when you're at work, just concentrate on your, your work. Mm -hmm. So, and this also needs to have an open communication. You, you need to communicate it with your family. You need to communicate it with your uh, work peers. Uh, you need to communicate it with your friends that at this time I'm concentrating on my work so then uh, my work is my priority. 
And then on a different time, then my priority is my family. Then I, I asked my, my work peer that, okay, you know, I'm prioritizing my family now. So anything, if it's not urgent, then please leave me alone. Oh. <laughs> you know, so we really need to, to compartmentalizing things, you know, yes. in, order, in order to uh, make peace with yourself. Yes. Oh, very inspiring. Oh, wow, yes. yes. Inspiring talk. Munoni, very thank you very much for your time and hopefully that you can come directly here to see today's studio to talk more yeah. about oh, everything. Oh, sorry, I forgot yeah. the, the message. Yes, the message. Oh, yeah. the, message. the message, just one sentence. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it is very important, just a short one. Um, we, need to be a, we need to have a purpose in our life beyond mm -hmm. just numbers. Yep. Okay. We need to have a bigger purpose. Mm -hmm. So whatever we have, we need to have a purpose, we need to have passion, and we need to have perseverance because life is not meant to be easy. Yes. So be kind, be brave, and always remember to try. Wow. Oh, Never give up. We love it, Boo. So good. Purpose Sorry, and perseverance. Yeah. I do agree with that. Yes. There you go. Bunoni, thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Bunoni. Stay inspirational and hoping that we can see you in person yes. um, when you come to the CC thank you. studio. Thank you. Amen to that. All right. Thank you, Bye. Ibu. Bye-bye. Bye, Ibu. Bye, Ibu.